Hey guys, Lincoln Parks here, and I want to welcome you to our Monday segment. We do have a winner for this segment. What I decided to do was, my wife, I know that I might have been a little biased, uh, so what I did was, my wife does not know any of the people that actually, I, I talk about everyone that blogs on my, that comments on my blog, but she does not know anyone personally, so I decided I'm going to give her the names, and I want her to look at the names and see which name actually fits this segment. So we do have a winner. I'm going to reveal that winner at the end of the video. I want to jump into the video right now with some of the leadership uh, tips that I learned throughout this week. Very profound. And um, let's go ahead and get started. So, so uh, why some leaders get it and some don't. So that's the topic for today. Why some leaders get it and some don't. Um, and the first one is because, and everyone knows this, the first one is you need to be a servant, a servant leader. The servant leadership is so important to leadership as we know it today. Because as we know, Jesus was a servant, a servant of his disciples, a servant of the people, a servant of anyone that was in his path or people that didn't even know him personally. He was a servant to them. Jesus washed feet, okay? So Jesus was a servant. So we want to lead our lives as servant, as leaders after Jesus. That's who I'm leading my life after. So number one, in order to be a, a great and profound leader, you need to be a servant. Number two, you have to give praise and take the blame. This is so important. You have to give praise and take the blame. So many times in teams and organizations, we have the leaders that shift the blame onto other people, even if someone on your team is wrong, okay? We know that we have to correct those errors and we have to correct those things that happen with those leaders, but guess what? We as the leader should take on the blame. You know, if you're watching sports, you know, the majority of the time, who takes the, the blame? Either the star player or the coach. As the leader and as the leader in your organization and the organization that you're building today, leaders give praise and they take the blame. Okay, so that's tip number two. Number three is leadership is hard work. Leadership is just flat out plain hard work. It's going to take a lot of work and a lot of work ethic in order to be a leader. It just doesn't happen overnight. It's a building process every single week, every single day. I know myself continuing to build, continuing to learn, and it's hard work. It's not going to be easy to be a leader, but guess what? If you want to be that leader, that leader of leaders, you know that it's going to be hard work. So that's number three. Number four is it's about you, all right? Not I, okay? Or not, we have to say we instead of I. It's not about you. Okay, as a leader, we have to understand that if you have a team and you're building a team, you're building an organization, it's not about specifically you as the leader. Okay, it's about everyone else. It's about, and this ties into step number one, which is being a servant. So being a servant and then tying in and, 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 and being selfless, taking that, taking that, uh, taking on all the blame. And then also making sure that you know it's not about me. It's not about me personally. It's about the team and the organization and what we can do. And number five is training and growing leaders. This is so important because as, as emerging leaders and as leaders and as people uh, uh, that we're building our platforms and taking our, our message to the next level and people really want to see what we're doing, we have to train and continue to train and continue to learn, but we also have to grow other leaders. Because as a community, as we're building, we want to make sure we're growing other leaders that are tying into our community. Very powerful, very profound. So those are the five tips, really, uh, why some leaders get it and some leaders don't. And during the week also, there's two things, or, or, or actually three things that were really profound and really stood out to me this week. And number one is building character so important as a leader building character and i want to just talk about something real quick i'm reading this book from andy stanley um the book is called like a rock from andy stanley and the first thing that he talks about in chapter one is character character is very very important you know when it comes to building leadership potential 
Your character determines who you are. Your character determines where you go. You want to build a legacy. What he talks about is in this book is if you're at your, you, you're able to watch your own funeral, what are your work associates going to say about you? What is your family going to say about you? What are your friends going to say about you? And what are your business associates going to say about you? Now, if, you can, if, if at this point, these people are not saying positive things about you, or they don't know what to say, you being a servant leader, then guess what? There's some things you need to change. And that really hit me hard. That was one, one thing throughout the week that I, I, I really wanted to focus in. The next thing is, um, there was a song that I was listening to. It's, I refuse to sit around and act like I don't care. Wow, so profound as a leader. Because we see people every day that need help. We see people every day that are struggling and we just pass them by. We pass them by without even a, without a shadow of a doubt. Someone could be on the side of the road with a flat tire and we just pass them by because of our own agenda. Now, this is hard as a Christian. This is hard as a leader because we know it's not about us. It's about helping others. And that's, that was so profound for me when I heard that song. I refuse to sit around and wait and act like I don't care. Wow, that was so powerful. Guys, in the next uh, 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 number three tip or insight, extra insight to the segment is sowing and reaping. I read a Bible story to my daughter tonight. We just we just happened to read, we were reading in Matthew, and we just happened to read the story, uh, the parables, Jesus teaching about sowing and reaping. That, that was so profound just for me to read this story to her and just talking about how you sow and you reap and the, and, and the seeds falling on good ground and they're falling on thorny ground and, and when the sun comes out they wither away but then some are going to fall on good ground. This is, this is the same thing as leadership. This is the same and, and, and I got so excited because this is the same thing as leadership. We're going to sow and we're going to reap. We're going to go through valleys and we're going to go through hills. We're going to go through highs and lows. And this and and that was number three. So profound, guys. I really, really uh, wanted to share this message with you. Now, we want to jump into the segment. And the winner of this segment and the winner of this book, um, The Charge, this is going to go to Brendan Bouchard's new book. This is going to go to Bernard, Bernard Hayes. Bernard, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, but Bernard Hayes, leadtoimpact.com. If you haven't visited his site, go ahead and visit Bernard. Visit his site. Really great guy. I'm going to go with the name Lincoln's Leadership Lessons L3. That's going to be the name of the new segment. My wife chose that. Um, she she ranked them actually in order how she wanted to rank them. Um, and, and and But she said Lincoln's Leadership Lessons L3. That's the winner. Bernard, I'm going to go ahead and send you this book, buddy. Go ahead and shoot me your email. Uh, send me an email. Comment to me. Uh, LincolnParks at gmail.com. You can go ahead and send me that email and uh, uh, with your address, and I'll go ahead and ship that book out to you. So, guys, I want to thank you for watching Lincoln's Leadership Lessons L3 for this week, and I uh, hope to see you guys next week. Let's pick up some new tips and some new leadership strategies that we can share with others. Take care. See you next week.